leave it cert higher level maths 2020 uh, paper two this is the solution video to question two so question two is a coordinate geometry of the circle question so we have a circle c has an equation x squared plus y squared minus 4x plus 2y minus 4 is equal to zero the point a is the center of the circle here the line L is a tangent to the center um, at the point T. Uh, the point B, 5, 8, lies on the tangent. Find BT, that is the length from B to T. Okay, so to find the length from B to T, um, what we can do is we can first find the center A. We can find the length or the distance from A to B. We can find the distance from A to T, which is the radius, and then we can use Pythagoras then to find BT. So I'll start off by finding the length of the radius. So the radius, uh, the length AT is equal to the radius, and the radius of the circle is going to be the square root of G squared plus F squared minus C. So g in this case is 2, so 2 squared, uh, f is 1, so that's 1 squared, and then c is uh, minus 4, so that'll be plus 4. Okay, so that's uh, half of this one, half of that one, and then the opposite sign of, of c. So or is equal to the square root of 4 plus 1 plus 4, so that's or is equal to the square root of 9, so or is equal to 3. So that's this distance here, a, t, that's 3. Now I'm going to find this distance here, a, b. Now to find the distance a, b, I need to know the centre, so the, the point a, so the centre of a circle is given by minus g minus f so half this change the sign and half this change the sign so half of four uh, half of minus four is minus two change the sign to two half of two is one change the sign to minus one so that's the center two one and that's the point a so then to find the distance from a to b we're going to use the distance formula so distance a b is equal to the square root of uh, x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. So in this case, uh, x2, let's say this is x1, y1, and this will be x2, y2. So x2 minus x1, 2 minus 5 squared plus y2 minus y1, so that's minus 1 minus 8 squared. So that's equal to 2 minus 5 is minus 3, minus 3 squared is 9, plus minus 1 minus 8 is minus 9, minus 9 squared is 81. So it's the square root of 9 plus 81, which is equal to the square root of 90. And the square root of 90 simplified down is 3 root 10. So that's this distance here, 3 root 10. Now we're looking for this distance, TB, which is one side of a right angle triangle. So the length BT is equal to the square root for using Pythagoras. It's this squared is equal to that squared plus that squared. So if I want to find this one, it's the square root of the hypotenuse minus this other side. So it's the square root of 3 root 10 squared minus 3 squared. So that is equal to the square root of 90 minus 9, which is equal to the square root of 81, which is just equal to 9. So the length BT is equal to 9. Over to part B. So part B, 
Two circles, C1 and C2, have their centres on the x-axis. Each circle has a radius of 5 units. The point 0.14 lies on each circle. Find the equation of C1 and the equation of C2. So to do this one, I'm definitely going to start with a sketch. So I have uh, two circles and the point 0.14 lies on each circle. So that means the circles are going to overlap with each other. So I'll let them overlap there like that. And their centers are on the x-axis here like this. This is the point 0.14. So that means our y-axis is somewhere here. I'm not sure whether or not it, uh, this part of the circle is beyond the y-axis or not. It doesn't really matter for now. Uh, we're told that each circle is a radius of 5. So if the center of each circle is on the x-axis and it has a radius of 5 there like that, both of them have a radius of 5 there like that. So that just gives us an idea of what we're looking at here. Now, this the equation of a circle from your log tables is x minus h squared plus y minus k squared is equal to four squared. Now, HK is the center of the circle. The center of the circles, if this is C1 and this is C2, the center of C1 is, let's say, X0. And the center, X10, we can say, the center of C2 is X2. Zero. So we have just two different x values. The y values are the same. It's zero. So I can sub in my center of the circle, say x10, and my radius, because I have my radius. So I can sub in and get x minus h, so that's minus x1, we're going to call it, squared, plus y minus k, which is zero, is equal to or squared, which is equal to 5 squared, which is 25. That there should be squared. So the next thing that I can do then is I can actually sub in my point 0.14 in here for x and y. So if I sub in 1 for x, I can say 1 minus x1 squared plus y is 4. So it's 4 minus 0 is just 4. So it's 4 squared is equal to 25. So now I have 1 minus x1 squared plus 4 squared is equal to 25. I have an equation here with only one unknown, so I should be able to find that. So I'm going to square out this bracket. So squared first is 1, twice the product, that would be minus 2x1. Squared a second, that would be plus x1 squared. Then I have 4 squared is 16. And I can take my 25 from both sides to tidy it up. So I get x1 squared minus 2x1. Then I have 16 minus 25 plus 1, which is minus 8, equal to 0. So I have a quadratic here. Just need to solve my quadratic and get my two values of x. And that'll be my two values up here. So I can factorize this. Factors of minus 8 that add together to give me minus 2 or minus 4 and plus 2. So that will be x minus 4 by x plus 2 is equal to 0. So that means x is equal to 4 and x is equal to minus 2. So that's my two points here, minus 2 and 4. So then my circles... C1 has a center of minus 2, 0, and C2 has a center of 4, 0. They both have a radius of 5. So now I can fill this in to my equation here. C1 will be uh, x uh, minus h, so that's minus minus 2, so that's x plus 2 squared plus y minus k, so that's y uh, minus 0, so I don't need to put in the 0, so that's just y squared is equal to 25. If you want, you can multiply that out, but it doesn't ask for it in any particular 
form, so that form should be fine. And C2 is going to be x, and it'll be minus 4 squared plus y squared is equal to 25. So there's the two equations of the circles C1 and C2. Okay, so thanks for watching. If you have any questions, just ask in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next video.